not be many places that still have gas lamps to light the streets either. Survivors of an earlier, slower pay stage indeed. Well, Morford in Worcestershire still has its gas lamps, but for how much longer? Yes, in an era of public spending cuts, there are fears the lights could go out to save money, but as Andy Newman's been finding out, one group's determined to save them. Beautiful, historic, but very expensive. Malvern's gas lamps were erected in the 1920s, but the rising cost of gas coupled with tight council budgets has put a question mark over their future. Enter the Gasketeers, their pun not mine, an enthusiastic band of locals who've come together, one for all and all for one, to save the gas lamps. I think they're beautiful, they're brilliant, they're old-fashioned, they are so evocative of the old Victorian Malvern. So how to modernise the lamps without spoiling them? Hidden away in a tiny laboratory on the slopes of the Mulverns, we find the gasketeers hard at work. One of the reasons the lamps are so expensive is that the mechanical timers have to be wound up by hand on a weekly basis. Just one of the things they want to improve. Electronic timer controls, uh, so they're on during the, the night time with an off period. Uh, more efficient burners in particular, uh, and then the use of reflectors to stop light pollution, the wasted light, and direct it down onto the pathway. So, in the cold light of day, what does the council think of their plans? This scheme will be very helpful to Malvern Town Council. Malvern Town Council is determined to keep the gas lamps working, and if we can use local firm with new technology, that gives an ideal solution. Apparently these lamps form part of the inspiration for C.S. Lewis's story, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. He was a student at Malvern College and the sight of one of these lamps shining through the snow on a winter's night gave him the idea for the first image seen through the open wardrobe. Another slice of their history, say the Gasketeers, which makes them determined that the lamp should have a bright future. Andy Newman, BBC Midlands Today, Malvern. A bright future. But so many puns yeah, in there. I know. It's a lovely story, it isn't it? It is a lovely that? story, isn't it? Yeah. Nice to keep and them, they're very it? evocative, aren't they, somehow? Yeah, well, they I are. love the connection with um, C.S. Lewis and a so A gentle on. life and yeah. a bygone era, as we Absolutely said before, fantastic. isn't it?